Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are kicking off my four part series on professional design secrets and we are starting with secret number one that is alignment. If your designs often look messy or unbalanced, chances are there that you are not using alignment properly. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to use Canva's alignment tool to create clean, professional and eye-catching designs. So let's dive right in. So right now I have opened a page that is 1080 by 1080 square size page. So I just want to show you how exactly I personally do the alignment in Canva for all of my designs. But before starting with that, I just want to tell you that there are so many ways you can do the alignment in Canva. So first, if you'll go to file over here and you have to go to settings here also, you can add the guides like this. How many guides actually you need in your uh, page and you have the custom option also but we are not going to talk about it today and next thing if you are having something like uh, any image or any element in your design and you want to align them then you can go to position and here also you are having these options for the alignment okay but we will talk about these things in uh, next episode or upcoming classes later okay but today i will tell you what exactly i do okay let's delete it so whenever i just open a blank page first thing first i do i add the alignment line you can call it grid you can call it margin line whatever you can call it okay so first thing i add the alignment line for that what exactly i do just press shift plus r in your keyboard after pressing that key you can see you got these scaling on top and on the left side so these will help you to do the alignment in your design and that is really important okay so this is the square size base that is 1080 by 1080 so we will add the alignment line on the left side right side top and bottom also so to add the alignment line on the left side what we will do we will go over here press and hold and bring this purple color of line over here so as you can see whenever we are coming on this side so it is giving you the scaling on the top as you can see 49 50 53 so let's stop it on 50 so we have added the alignment line on the left side next what i exactly do i do the same for the right side also but here we have kept it for 50 so we will make sure that we will keep 50 on the right side also so right side again we will do the same press and hold and bring that line on the right side okay so as you can see it is showing you the numbers so as i have already told you that the page is 1080 by 1080 so it is 1080 so we will minus 50 because here we have kept 50 so here we will minus 1080 minus 50 is equal to 1030 so we will keep this line on 1030 like this okay so the alignment line i have added on the left side and the right side i will do the same for the top and bottom so for the top I will go over here you can see the scaling is on the top also so here press and hold bring that line so here also we will keep it to 50 that's it okay done now we will have to bring the alignment line on the bottom so again we will go on the top and press and hold bring that same line okay here also we will keep it on 1030 because that is the square size base it will be different for different page but i follow the same for all of my design either it is a portrait size image or either it is your thumbnail design or any design in canva i use the alignment line everywhere and first step i follow adding the alignment line okay so the alignment line we have added the first step is completed so i just want to show you one example and at the end i will show you what is the difference it will make after doing the alignment okay so for that i am having one example over here so let's delete other blank pages we don't need those pages anymore so as you can see in this design the alignment is really bad everything is here and there so we will not change anything we will just make sure the alignment is perfect okay so we will do the alignment only and after that i will show you that how exactly it will look and you can differentiate that 
because of the alignment only the design will make a huge difference okay to hide the alignment line anytime you want to hide those alignment line again you can press shift plus r it will hide okay if you want it back then again press shift plus r okay so let's do the alignment but before that let's duplicate it so that i will show you this one before and this one will be after okay so we will align everything with the help of these alignment lines so you can see the logo is here so let's select the logo and the brand name together and let's bring it to the left side you can use your mouse or your keyboard arrow keys okay so let's keep it over here you can see the alignment is good so let's keep it over there next we'll go over here and we will select these social media icons let's select three of them together and let's bring it over here i'm using the keyboard arrow key okay like this so this side also the alignment is perfect next what we will do we will select these dots and we will bring it over here okay let's bring it till this point i'm not touching this point because as you can see it is not looking good with that so we will keep it somewhere around here okay fine now uh, the top part is done next we will go on the left side and we will do the alignment so for now let's keep everything over here as you can see this headline is there and this subheading is here which is not looking good so let's keep it together like this we'll make some changes over there as you can see the spacing is really more so we will do that adjustment later but for now let's keep it there okay next we can adjust the size of that smartphone element so let's do it like this and bring it over here so as you can see the alignment line is here so we will keep like this with the help of alignment line anytime you can bring that on the center line from top to bottom if you will do like this canva will automatically show you the center line like this okay so let's keep it over here we'll adjust a little bit like this and it is done okay next what we will do we will align these bottom parts so let's align this one over here and these we will select together you can press shift and select okay let's bring it over here let's bring it over here for right now let's keep it over here okay as you can see the spacing is more so we can select one more time and bring it a little bit closer yeah perfect next select this one and bring it over here okay that is perfect next what we will do i was telling you that uh, the spacing between first line and second line of the headline is more so for that you can go over here the spacing and here you can decrease the line spacing but don't decrease it this much let's keep it this much so that it will look good and professional okay that's done next we will align this one together with headline so that is also done you can select both of them and align on the left side okay that is done now everything is aligned but one thing is there as you can see it will look good if we will align this text height with the help of the height of this smartphone element so anytime in between the pages if you need to align anything you can bring the alignment line again so suppose i have to align these text with the height of this element a smartphone element so i will bring one more alignment line and i will stop here where the smartphone element is starting okay this part now i will align these text so let's select both of them and bring a little bit down okay like this now if the work of that alignment line is basically this one is over you can bring it back and it will automatically hide okay so the alignment is done we have completed the alignment we have not changes anything as you can see let's hide the alignment line so if i will zoom out you can see this is the before and this is the after okay 
So as you can see, after doing the alignment only, we have made a huge changes in the design. So that is the importance of alignment in any design. So I personally do this step in my every design and you can also do the same if you really like that one. So that is how the alignment makes a huge difference in any design. So just take care of the alignment in your design and your design will look more professional. And that's it, secret one mastering alignment in Canva. If you found this helpful, hit like button and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next secret. Also let me know in the comments, have you been using Canva's alignment tool or was this was eye opener for you. See you in the next video and until then keep learning, keep growing.